National top infectious disease expert tells us the kids can safely celebrate Halloween this year because most activities like trick or treating are outside. Yeah, for kids and wheelchairs, there are still other obstacles. WMER 2 News' Abby Isaacs explains how an inclusive Halloween event in Hartford County is looking to volunteers for help. For children in wheelchairs, dressing up and going trick or treating can be a challenge. So Harford County is looking for volunteers to help make this Halloween extra special. He's so excited for his costume this year. Betsy Dean's son Ashton can't wait to be Scooby Doo. Last night he said, let's go. And I said, where are we going? He said, it's time to go trick or treating. <laughs> she said, not quite yet, but soon he'll be all decked out. Thanks to the wheelchair costume workshop. <laughs> For the second year, the Harford County government has sponsored the event. Volunteers are paired up with kids to build them their dream costume. It is pretty neat how they can transform a wheelchair into a moving uh, costume, and they really are fabulous. Then they show off the costumes in an inclusive trunk or treating event the day before Halloween. It's great because there are so many things that children with mobility issues can't do. Even trick-or-treating is hard. You can't go up and down the steps. It's only a few weeks away, and they're still looking for 25 to 50 more volunteers to help make it happen. It takes a, a lot of different skill sets to, to make these costumes come together. I think this year we've got Scooby-Doo's van, uh, a dragon, an underwater uh, spaceship. Dean hopes more people will volunteer to help turn Ashton and other children's dreams into reality. It just means so, so much to families like ours and children like ours. The costume build is Friday, October 29th and Saturday, October 30th here at Mount Zion Church in Bel Air. There's also still some time to sign your child up to receive one of the costumes. We have information about how to get involved on our website, WMAR2news.com. In Bel Air, Abby Isaacs, WMAR2 News. All right.